Hello friend, today we will discuss the question taken from integral equation and the question is find the eigenvalue and eigenfunction of the homogeneous freedom integral equation number one y x equal to lambda integration over 0 to 2 pi sin x plus t y t dt and the second is y x equal to lambda integration over 0 to 1 e to the power x e to the power t y t dt okay we know that what is eigenvalue and eigenvalue the values of the parameter lambda for which y x has non-zero solutions then these values of lambda is called eigenvalue okay and corresponding function is eigenfunction okay so first of all we solve 2 and the 2 is y x equal to lambda integration of 0 to 1 e to the power x e to the power t y t dt since the integral is over t so this can be written as lambda e to the power x integration of 0 to 1 e to the power t y t dt okay now this integral c equal to integration of 0 to 1 e to the power t y t dt okay if we rename this integral as c then y x can be written as lambda e to the power x and c okay now we find the value c now c is integration over 0 to 1 e to the power t y t since y x equal to lambda e to the power x c so y t is lambda e to the power t c okay and then dt so this can be written as c lambda indication over 0 to 1 e to the power 2t dt okay so this is c lambda e to the power 2t by 2 0 to 1 okay so this is c lambda e to the power 2 by 2 minus half so this is written as c lambda e square minus 1 by 2 okay taken both sides so this can be written as if we common c is we get 1 minus lambda e square minus 1 by 2 equal to 0 okay now we find a non-zero solutions and if c equal to 0 then we see that if c is 0 any values of lambda for which y x always 0 solution so we can say that c never 0 for non-zero solution okay so this should be 0 so from this we can find lambda equal to 2 by a square minus 1 this is our eigenvalue okay 2 by a square minus 1 okay no problem now we find the eigenfunctions okay put this lambda here so this is written as 2c by a square minus 1 e to the power x okay so I put the value of this so you get this and for eigenfunction we always take constant as unity so this can be taken as 1 so the corresponding eigenfunction is y x equal to e to the power x okay this is eigenvalue and this is our eigenfunction okay number 2 is solved okay now we solve the number 1 y x equal to lambda indication over 0 to 2 pi sin x plus t y t dt okay since the integral is dependent over t so this is 0 to 2 pi 
and this is written as sin x <coughs> cos t plus cos x sin t y t dt okay okay now this can be written as lambda sin x indication over 0 to 2 pi cos t y t dt and lambda cos x indication over 0 to 2 pi sin t y t dt okay now we we take this as c1 and this integral as c2 okay so y x can be written as lambda sin x c1 and lambda cos x c2 okay no problem now we find the value of c1 now c1 is indication of 0 to 2 pi cos t y t dt okay now since y x equal to this so we put the value of y t okay so this is indication of 0 to 2 pi cos t and y t is lambda sin t c1 and lambda cos t c2 and then dt okay so this is written as 0 to 2 pi lambda c1 sin t cos t dt and uh, lambda c2 indication over 0 to 2 pi cos square t dt okay now this written as lambda c1 by 2 indication of 0 to 2 pi 2 sin t cos t dt okay and this is written as lambda c2 by 2 indication over 0 to 2 pi 2 cos square t sorry dt okay so this is sin 2t and this is 1 plus cos 2t that is lambda c1 by 2 integration over 0 to 2 pi this is sin 2t dt and this is 1 plus cos 2t dt okay no problem now so c1 is lambda c1 by 2 indication of 0 to 2 pi sin 2t dt and lambda c2 by 2 indication of 0 to 2 pi 1 plus cos 2t dt okay now this is always know that this is cos 2t by 2 uh, 0 to 2 pi and this is lambda c2 by 2 this is t plus sine 2t by 2 0 to 2 pi okay no problem now this is this is minus cos 4 pi so 4 pi 4 pi means 1 by 2 and minus minus plus cos 0 1 by 2 okay and this is lambda c2 by 2 this is 2 pi and any value of this is 0 minus 0 plus 0 so we can write this is 0 lambda c2 by 2 only okay so this is written as 2c1 minus lambda c2 equal to 0 number 1 okay now we find the value of c2 now we know that c2 is 0 to 2 pi sin t y t dt 0 to 2 pi sin t y t dt again i put the value of y t so y t is lambda sin t c1 lambda sin t c1 and lambda cos t c2 okay and then dt so this is lambda c1 by 2 integration of 0 to 2 pi 
2 sin square t and this is lambda c 2 by 2 in again 0 to 2 pi 2 sin t cos t dt okay so this is lambda c 1 by 2 so dt 0 to 2 pi 1 minus cos 2 t dt and this is lambda c 2 by 2 indication of 0 to 2 pi sin 2 t dt you can see that in previous indication of 0 to 2 pi sin 2 dt this is 0 this is also 0 this value is 0 ok now you have to find this value so that is lambda c 1 by 2 this is t minus sin 2 t by 2 ok 0 to 2 pi and this is 0 so this is so this is this can be written as lambda c1 by 2 this is 2 pi minus 0 sorry minus 0 minus of 0 so this is mm, oh, oh, oh sorry 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 here this is and this neighbor so here this is lambda c1 pi here is also lambda c2 pi okay so here pi so this can be written as c2 minus lambda c1 pi equal to 0 so this is written as lambda c1 pi minus c2 equal to 0 this is number 2 so here this is number 1 this is a number 2 these both are homogeneous equations in c1 and c2 so find the value of c1 and c2 okay we must have okay now we can written as c1 minus lambda pi c2 equal to 0 and lambda pi c1 minus c2 equal to 0 this is our number 1 this is number 2 okay for non-zero solutions c1 and c2 we must have 1 minus lambda pi sorry lambda pi minus 1 equal to 0 that is minus 1 plus lambda square pi square equal to 0 so this imply c written as lambda square pi square equal to 1 lambda square equal to 1 by pi square so lambda equal to plus minus 1 by pi so this is our eigenvalue okay now find the eigenfunction corresponding to lambda equal to plus 1 by pi okay when lambda equal to pi then from on we can see that c1 minus lambda lambda means 1 by pi into pi c2 equal to 0 that is c1 equal to c2 both are equal okay now from here that is yx equal to we know that yx equal to lambda c1 sin x and lambda c2 sin sorry cos x okay put the value of c1 0 that is lambda c1 sin x lambda c1 cos x and we take lambda c1 as common so we can get sin x plus cos x and we can we say that for eigenfunction we always take constant as unity so the eigenfunction corresponding to 1 by pi corresponding to 1 by pi is y x equal to sin x plus cos x okay and similarly lambda equal to minus 1 by pi and you can say that c1 minus minus 1 by pi into pi into c2 equal to 0 from 1 so we can see that c1 plus c2 equal to 0 that is c1 equal to minus c2 okay so we can say that yx equal to lambda c1 
c1 sin x plus lambda minus c1 cos x that is if we common lambda c1 so we can get sin x minus of cos x so this is take as unity for eigen function so the eigen functions corresponding to lambda equal to minus 1 by pi is y x equal to sin x minus cos x is very easy okay if you like this video then subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon okay see you in the next video tata -ta.